Hello, my name's Liz. Welcome to another free IELTS lesson. In this lesson, we're going to look at listening for plurals. The first thing I want to point out is that plurals are very important for IELTS listening. And some of your answers will definitely be plurals because it's an English language test. And IELTS want to check that you can listen for plurals. Now, if you write the right word, but you forget the S, it will be marked wrong. There are no half points in IELTS. You either get the point correct, the answer is correct and you get one point, or it's wrong and you get no point at all. So having the S on the end of the word is the only way to get a correct answer if it is a plural answer. So what we're going to do in this lesson today is I'm going to give you some listening practice and we're going to see if you can listen for plurals. After we've done the listening practice, I'm going to review the answers with you and give you some tips so that you can become more successful in listening for plurals. Right, so let's have a look at the questions and we're going to start our practice listening. Here are the questions for your listening practice. We've got questions one to six, as you can see here. Now, this type of question is called a sentence completion question and it's a very common type of question for the IELTS listening test. You are given a sentence with information missing and you have to listen and find the information to fill in the gaps. When you have filled in the gap, the sentence will be a complete grammatically correct sentence. Now, the instructions are no more than two words and or a number. Many students do get confused, so I will explain. You could have two words, you could have one word, but you cannot have three. You could have two words and a number. You could have one word and a number, or you can just have one number on its own. Now let's just quickly read the questions so that I'm sure you can see it on the board. The charity is a project. Number two, the charity is aimed at helping something. It is possible to give money donations or even something. Number four, it is possible to be actively involved in the coming. Number five, the aim is to raise. Number six, for communities to thrive, something should not be ignored. Right, so what you should be doing now is pausing the video, preparing your questions. Now I'm going to disappear from the screen and you're going to do the listening practice. When you've finished, I will come back and review the answers and tips. Good luck. Let's start. This charity is a grassroots project aimed at providing nationwide support for local communities. People are able to show their support by donating money or useful objects like bicycles. So if you wish to give something, please get in touch. Alternatively, you may be interested in getting involved in the practical side of our charity. We'll be holding a fundraiser soon and the more people involved, the better. Our target is to raise £150,000. We can't stress enough just how vital this is to help our communities thrive. Charity work so important and this must not be ignored. So we hope that you will get involved and help us as much as you can. Right, so let's have a look at the answers. We'll look first at the answers for questions one to three. Now, the first one. The charity is a grassroots project. So on your answer sheet, if this was the IELTS listening test, you would write one word and it would be grassroots with an S. Now, this is all about vocabulary. So you can see here, this charity is a grassroots project. Now, the noun project is singular, a project, but grassroots always has an S and it's all about knowing the meaning of the word and the spelling. It means fundamental or basic. So a charity that works with grassroots projects, that basically is a charity that looks at the real needs of a community, food, transport, education, basic things like that. So grassroots with an S, very tricky, very difficult. So number two, the charity is aimed at helping. And this is also, this is a plural, we've got local 
communities. And again, you've got to have the spelling correct. So you see, at providing nationwide support for local communities. Number three, this is also a little bit difficult to hear. It is possible to give money donations or even bicycles. So the answer was bicycles, plural. Now, when you listen for plurals, it's not just about being able to hear the S because sometimes you can't hear it. Now, if you look here, we say donating money or useful objects like bicycles, but the next word begins with an S. And when we speak naturally in English, we often link the sounds and the words together. So we say, or useful objects like bicycles, so if you, and this is why listening for plurals is so difficult because you're trying to listen for the S and you can't hear it because it's linked in with the next word. But you do know it's an S because it says objects. That's a plural, objects like. It's got to be an S, it's got to be a plural. Also, if this was singular, and don't forget we're looking at grammar as well, if it said a useful object like a bicycle, you need the article, a bicycle, the bicycle for the defined article. So it's all about grammar and understanding what you're listening for. So the clue was given to you with the word objects. The grammar helps you further because there's no article. So the answer must be plural. Also, if you ha have a look at the other option, which was donating money, it was money donations. And again, there was a plural there to give you an indication. So listening for plurals isn't just about listening for the S. It's about grammar, it's about understanding, and it's about looking for indications which show that it will be a plural. So tricky, I know, but this is an English language test and it's all about knowing your English. So let's have a look now at questions four, five and six and see what the answers are for them. Let's look at the rest of the answers. So it's possible to be actively involved in the coming and the answer that you should have is fundraiser. Now, if you look at this sentence, it's not really clear if we're listening for a single noun or a plural noun because we've got the. But when we listen to the audio, it says we will be holding a fundraiser soon. And of course, as soon as you hear that in the audio, then you know your answer is singular. The next one, number five, this is a little bit tricky. The aim is to raise 150,000 pounds. Now your answer should be only a number, 150,000. If you have written your answer as 150,000 and then you've written the word pounds, your answer would be marked wrong in IELTS because this is about sentence completion and we have a sign here that already means pounds. So you would never have a sentence that has the word as well. So that was a little trap for you. Yes, it was a plural, but we didn't need the word. We only needed the number. And the last one, the last one was also a little bit tricky. For communities to thrive, charity work, singular, should not be ignored. Now the problem is this verb here, the verb is. As you often know in English, we contract and we say is instead of is. So in the audio, you heard charity works so important. So that would be apostrophe S for the verb charity works so important. Now, how do you know when that happens, whether you're listening for a single noun or a plural noun? Well, the answer is very easy. Work is uncountable. It never has an S unless you're talking about works of art. But if you're talking about work in general, it is uncountable, there's no S. So that is about knowing your vocabulary. So there are quite a lot of tips that we can learn from doing this. Um, let's have a look and I will summarize the tips so that you know what you need to do to improve your listening for plurals. 
So your three main tips to improve your listening for plurals. The first one, of course, is to know your uncountable nouns because they do not have S's on the end. Now, I'll give you a link to those at the end of the lesson, or you can have a look at the description of the video and you'll find a link there. Number two, know your vocabulary and spelling. For example, grassroots. It always has an S. That is how the word is written. So, obviously, this is an English language test, and this is testing your vocabulary. Band score nine students will know that, probably band score seven and eight as well. So, improve your vocabulary means improving your listening as well for IELTS. And number three, be careful of linking sounds. That's very important because they can make it very difficult to hear the S. And if that happens, you need to use grammar to help you. So if the S is not clear, think of the grammar. Think about the articles. Is there an article, a, uh, in the question? And if there isn't, listen for a uh, in the audio. Somewhere there will be an article if it's a singular. Also look at lists of examples. So you saw we've got donations of money. So donations, plural. When you see lists of examples that are plurals, it means that most of them will be plural. So you need to pay attention to that. So those are the tips. I hope you found it useful. Don't be upset if you didn't get them all right. This is just the beginning of your practice. It's the beginning of your development. Now you know what you have to listen for. Now you can practice and improve. Well, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I'll see you again in another IELTS lesson.